In bronchiectasis, the medium and smaller sized bronchi and bronchioles are damaged. Their ciliated epithelium is destroyed by inflammation and scarring, which um, in a vicious cycle of infection and further scarring leads to um, permanent dilatation and bronchial wall thickening. The mucous lining of these airways become colonized by bacteria and generate copious amounts of purulent and often offensive sputum. The disease, if not treated, is characterized by frequent infective exacerbations with progressively worsening lung function. The causes are childhood pneumonia, for example, in um, open cough and post measles, and then um, post pulmonary tuberculosis also causes this. Um, chronic rhinosinusitis with um, post nasal drip asthma and COPD, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, the fibrosing lung disease of any cause, for example, in rheumatoid lung disease, and um, immune deficiency states um, like HIV infection, and also a gamma globulinemia, and um, inherited disorders like um, cystic fibrosis, primary ciliary dyskinesia um, should be considered especially in young children presenting with, with um, bronchiectasis so the main symptoms are persistent cough over many months copious purulent sputum which is often offensive hemoptysis in over one third of cases during exacerbations um, intermittent um, systemic symptoms like fever, night sweats, weight loss, um, chest pain, difficulty in breathing. So th these are the symptoms. The signs that are usually elicited are weight loss, fever, finger clubbing, um, dull percussion notes, um, bronchial breath sounds, and um, cause crepitations. Investigations are FBC, ESR, sputum culture and sensitivity, gram stain, sputum, AFBs, chest x-ray, um, CT scan of the chest, and um, pulse oximetry. So the main treatment objectives are to treat infection, to aid sputum clearance, to minimize cough and sputum production, to prevent exacerbations, and also to diagnose and treat underlying disorders. Non-pharmacological treatments um, include chest physiotherapy, as um, postural drainage and sputum clearance techniques, breathing exercises, improve nutrition, encourage adequate fluid intake, and also encourage physical exercise. Pharmacological treatments for acute infective exacerbation, the first line treatment you give um, amoxicillin plus clavulanic acid oral in adults 1 gram um, 12 hourly for um, 14 to 21 days. In children more than 12 years, you give 1 500 1 to 5 tablets um, 12 hourly. In 6 to 12 years, you give 5 milliliters of 457 um, suspension 12 hourly. And 1 to 6 years, you give 2.5 milliliters of um, 457 suspension to valley one month to one year and you give um, 0.25 milliliters per kilogram body weight of 12531 suspension 8 hourly and less than one month you give 0.25 milliliters per kilogram body weight of 12531 suspension 8 hourly and then you give azithromycin or for patients um, allergic to penicillin is given as monotherapy and in adults 500 milligrams once daily for um, 6 to 14 days and in children um, 10 milligrams per kilogram once daily for 6 to 14 days referral criteria refer all suspected cases to a specialist for um, confirmation and further management